Okay, this is number three of a diary of a wimpy kid. Uh, Rod, a novel and cartoons. Page sixteen. Okay. Well, the first day of school is finally over, so today I slept in. Most kids wake up early on Saturday to watch cartoons or whatever, but not me. The only reason I get out of bed at all on weekends is because eventually I can't stand the taste of my own breath anymore. Smack, smack. Unfortunately, Dad wakes up at 6 a.m. in the morning no matter what day of the week it is. And he is not really considerate of the fact that I'm trying to enjoy my Saturday like a normal person. I didn't have anything to do today, so I just headed up to Rowley's house. Rowley is technically my best friend, but that is definitely subject to change. I've been avoiding Rowley since the first day of school when he did something that really annoyed me. We were getting our stuff from our lockers at the end of the day, and Rowley came up to me and said, Want to come to my house and play? I have told Rowley at least a billion times that now that we're in middle school, you're supposed to say hang out, not play. But no matter how many noogies I give him, he always forgets the name. I've been trying to be a lot more careful about my image ever since I got to middle school, but having Rowley around is definitely not helping. I met Rowley a few years ago when he moved into my neighborhood. His mom bought him this book called How to Make Friends in New Places and he came to my house trying all these dumb gimmicks. Knock knock. Huh? There must. Excuse me? There must be some way to tickle your funny bone. Say what? I guess I kind of felt sorry for Rowley and I decided to take him under my wing. It's been great having him around mostly because I get to use all of the tricks Rodrigue pulls on me. Did you know that if your hand is bigger than your face, it's a sign of low intelligence? Really? Hi, I gotcha. But do I have low intelligence? Hmm, let me check. You know how I said I play all sorts of pranks on Rowley? Well, I have a little brother named Manny, and I could never get away with pulling any of that stuff on him. Mom and Dad protect Manny like he's a prince or something and he never gets in trouble, even if he really deserves it. Like yesterday, Manny drew a self-portrait on my bedroom door in permanent marker. I thought Mom and Dad were really going to let him have it, but as usual, I was wrong. Aww. But the thing that bugs me the most about Manny is the nickname he has for me. When he was a baby, he couldn't pronounce brother, so he started calling me Bubby. And he still calls me that now, even though I keep trying to get mom and dad to make him stop. Luckily, none of my friends have found out yet. But believe me, I have had some really close calls. Happy birthday, Greg. Hey, this one says to Bubby. Must be a mistake. Mom makes me help Manny get ready for school in the morning. After I make Manny his breakfast, he carries his cereal bowl into the family room and sits on his plastic party. C is for me, it C is for Cookie, and Cookie is for me. <laughs> and when it's time for him to go to the daycare, he gets up and dumps whatever he didn't eat right in the toilet. Wow. Mom is always getting on me about not finishing my breakfast, but if she had to scrape cornflakes out of the bottom of a plastic party every morning, she wouldn't have much of an appetite either. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am super good at video games. I'll bet I could be anyone in my grade head to head. Unfortunately, Dad does not exactly appreciate my skills. He's always getting on me about going out and doing something active. So tonight after dinner, when Dad started hassling me about going outside, I tried to explain how with video games you can play sports like football and soccer and you don't even get all hot and sweaty. But as usual, Dad didn't see my logic. And that is the third part of Diary Wimpy Kid.